The tugboat, for its size, is the most powerful craft afloat. And the star tugs are the power behind the docks and waterways that make up the big city port. This is Tux. A Tux adventure. Based on the TV series by Robert Cardona and David Mitten. Written by Laidback Grit. Read by Tardis Knight. Chapter 1. Briefings. The sun was just beginning to slowly rise from behind the ocean and appearing in the horizon. As it rose, the sky began to change colour, from a light blue to an amazing orange, which was reflected in the ocean. The sun rose into the sky, high over big city port. No activity was going on in the harbour. The only sounds being made was the tiny splashing of the water and the cries of the seagulls, who had woken early to hunt for their breakfast. The increasing daylight rose over the star dock, where Captain Star's star fleet were still fast asleep. But they were soon woken up by Captain Star, who called out through the megaphone in his window, Good morning, Starfleet! The Starfleet soon woke up and yawned. Most of them were feeling refreshed after a good night's sleep, but Top Hat was moody as usual. Ugh, I couldn't sleep last night because I was listening to the Z-Stacks next to us gossiping about how much better than us they think they are. Well, well that's, that's your, your own fault, fault Top Hat, for listening to Z-Stacks, boomed Captain Star. You, you know, know we start, start at 6.30. 6.30. And besides, Top Hat, added Ten Cents, why are you listening to Zed Stacks anyway? They have nothing good to say. There's no one in Big City Port worse than them. Except you, Top Hat, Sunshine laughed. Oh, be quiet, little Sunshine, grumbled Top Hat crossly. Eh, hey, compared to other vessels, I'm not so small. Uh, no offence, Grandpus. But none taken. The midget submarine replied. All right, that will do, called Captain Star. Top Hat, you go off and collect the carloads and start transporting the trains around Big City Port. Top Hat huffily puffed out of the star dock. Like I said when Vienna came to Big City, why couldn't I have been a liner? Because you're not big enough, smiled Warrior as he watched Top Hat leave the dock. Just like I said. Then again, he is pretty big-headed, Ten Cents chuckled cheekily. Ten Cents, Sunshine, you two go off to your usual fuel delivery to Sally Seaplane, ordered Captain Star. Then there are some barges waiting at Lucky's Yard for you two to deliver. Aye, aye, sir, called Ten Cents as he started to leave the dock. Here, yeah, we'll get on with it and do a good job of it, added Sunshine cheerily as he began to follow Ten Cents. OJ, a, a fuel barge, barge is waiting at the depot by the bay, continued Captain Star. I want, I want you to collect it and take it to a customer that you'll meet at Lucky's. Aye, aye, Captain, the old paddle tug replied. I'll deliver it and safely too. OJ's two paddle wheels on either side of his body began to spin as he steamed slowly but surely out of the dock. Captain Star continued giving orders to his tugs. Big, Big Mac! Mac a tramp, tramp steamer, steamer is coming, coming into the estuary later. later. I, I want, want you to meet it and tow it into port. port. Warrior, you, you go on, on your usual garbage, garbage duty now. now. On, on your, your way. way. As Big Mac and Warrior began to steam out of the star dock, Warrior sighed glumly and turned to his brother. Why do you get to do the big work while I do the garbage duty? You're my brother after all. Maybe because you are just bump and sink the tramper, joked Big Mac. Nah, I'm just joking, Warrior. I'm sure you'll find garbage as excuses. Like it's great for annoying Top Hat. The two harbour tugs laughed, 
and then headed off in different directions. Back at the Star Dock, Captain Star was now giving orders to Hercules. The ocean liner Angel Anna is coming into port this afternoon. Hercules, I want you to meet her out at sea, then bring her in and dock her. Aye aye, Captain Star, love to. As Hercules left the Star Dock, Grampus asked Captain Star what he had to do that day. Well, Grampus, I don't have any work for you for just being a submarine. However, I would like you to look around Big City Port and see if you can find anything that may affect work for us or anything like that. Yes, sir. Grampus began to leave the dock. He didn't mind that he didn't get as much work as the tugs. Any work Captain Star gave him was better than the work the Navy gave him. As the Star briefing was now ending, the Zero briefing was just beginning. Captain Zero called loudly into his megaphone. Wake up, you lazy lot! All the Zed Sacks woke up, groaning and yawning. While Zip and Zug were feeling good after getting plenty of sleep, Zorin, Zebedee and Zack were all tired and grouchy. They did not get much sleep last night, having chatted for several hours about how they thought they were better than the Starfleet. Oh, I'm shattered, groaned Zebedee rarely. Well, that's your, your bad luck, luck Zebedee, Zebedee, snapped Captain Zero. You, you shouldn't, shouldn't have been chatting all night. night. Yes, yeah, Zebedee, added Zorin. She shouldn't chat while you should be asleep. Uh, Zorin, put in Zack. You were chatting too. You shut it, Zack. Snap, Zorin. Yeah, all of you, shut it! Yelled Captain Zero. Zorin, Zorin Zebedee, Zebedee, and Zack, some, some new fuel barges are waiting for you at Lucky's Yard. Collect them and take them to the, the canal. canal. Aye, 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 Captain, aye, aye, Captain. Aye, aye, Captain. The free harbour Zed Sacks quickly left the dock, leaving Zip and Zug behind. Captain Zero then addressed his two switchers. You two go, go off to do your coal deliveries. Yes, Captain Zero, replied Zug. Have you noticed we're all delivering fuel today? Zip asked cheerily. We're just delivering different fuel to the other. I don't care, I don't care! Bellowed Captain Zero. Just, just get, get on, on with your work! On that a double! Oh, yes sir. yes sir! Zip and Zug steamed quickly out of the Zero dock in fright. Captain Zero bellowed through the megaphone. Show everyone what Zestax can do! There's no one better than Zestax!